that's really shit because it makes it really hard to actually trade those positions because the market maker will more or less fuck you up oh, fuck it well anyways I will make the rest of the video later as soon as that bastard over there stops making so much noise at the market drop which is the best time or if you do it in general at a stock that's currently doing a new all-time high fuck's sake that's the third time I, I, I try to make this video and every time someone makes noise but fuck it Hey guys, this is probably now the fifth time that I try to make this video, but let's see what happens. First of all, I have no relation with that company at all. They don't know me, I don't know them, that's all. I just got that sweater from a friend. What I want to talk about today is a learning I have. As you probably know, it, I sometimes buy call options to participate in the leverage that options give you. Why do I do that? Because I simply try to make money with it. Long story short, what happened in recent days, I've bought multiple call options, I think in total 20 from different companies. All of those companies made a new all-time high in the days where I bought the call options. But I kind of have, I kind of had problems with that strategy. All of these options still last I think till December 17th or December 23rd and I will explain my two learnings I had from buying these options. First learning, pay attention to the fucking spread. So for example, if the spread is $1, so the bid, uh, bid price is 6 and the ask price is 7, don't trade it because the market maker will fuck you up. That's all. He will literally fuck you up. Because they won't sell it for you, uh, sell it to you for 650, which would be the middle. They will sell it to you for seven. Because most of these stocks are simply not liquid enough to to be traded in an efficient way. You can buy calls in these stocks if you have a really long expiration date. These stocks are still not even close to liquid, but in such a long period. In my case it does not matter as much first learning second learning if you do something like that first of all as I said only never bet more than 0.5% on a bet like that uh, depending on uh, I think time to expiration I'll make another video about that but in this case I'm talking about all of my positions have less or around a month uh, like expiration day so all in all I risk around 10% for just one month which is kind of stupid but anyways uh, this strategy really pays off if the market had a correction in recent days so for example at the beginning of October we had a correction and I think the broad, the, the broad market dropped around six or seven percent in single stocks like Adobe or like ASML dropped way more than 10 percent on october 14th the market had a really big up move and on that day i should have bought the calls because then i would have anticipated in the whole movement we had since the mid of october this is the second learning so timing does actually matter because what happened to me in recent day is i bought lots of calls at of, of companies or of underlinings where they constantly made a new all-time high but some of them broke out and I basically jumped on the train too late and that kind of sucks so the timing the best time is if the stock just breaks out but be aware well it's just a breakout maybe it would fail that's why you only invest 0.5% the second thing to timing the best timing is actually if the market had a correction and you can see that the market is moving up again well, that's been it. To sum it up, pay attention to the spread and pay a bit of attention to timing. I'll make a total other video about how long these expirations shall be, or not how long, but what I think is smart. And see you soon, guys. Bye.